Today, I'm gonna to share five things that I wish I'd known when I first started wild camping. And the first thing I wish I'd known about is the triangle of truth. You'll spend ages researching gear and trying to dial in the right setup. But no matter what, you'll always be governed by the triangle of truth. And it applies to a lot of things, not just wild camping gear. What you're basically saying is that between cheap, lightweight, and good quality, you can only really pick two, or 99% of the time you can only pick two of those. So if something's cheap and lightweight, it's usually rubbish quality, and Ruby's eating my triangle. If it's lightweight and good quality, it's usually expensive. And if it's expensive and good quality, it's usually on the heavier side of things. Now, even though these rules exist, we all know, it won't stop you looking and it won't stop you searching for that elusive gear. There are a couple of things I've found that kind of break the triangle, but only a couple really. One is the BRS titanium stove. It's relatively cheap, lightweight, and I think it's pretty well made. So it kind of sits in the middle of that triangle. Another thing I guess you could argue is the Lanshan tents from 3FUL gear. Again, they're pretty cheap compared to similar alternatives. They're lightweight and they're pretty well made as well. If you know of any other products that break the rules of the triangle of truth, drop a comment down below and share them with us. Another thing you'll quickly learn, even if nobody tells you, is that it's worth spending a bit more money on a decent sleep mat that's got some level of insulation and is properly ASTM rated. It's hard when you're first starting out because you'll see a, a sleep mat for 20 quid on Amazon or eBay and then you'll see a branded one for 200 plus quid and it's not obvious what the difference is. So I did what most people do, go for the cheap option and then you soon realise that it's a bad investment. And by the time you've tried three or four or more budget sleep mats, you might as well have bitten the bullet and invested in the first place. The budget sleep mats without any insulation, they're okay for the height of summer, but if you're serious about getting into wild camping, you're gonna need something that's gonna work for you any time of the year. And like I've said before, you really can't put a price on a good night's sleep. Speaking of costs, it's also worth investing a little bit more in your rucksack as well. And remember when it comes to packs, it's comfort that's king. I can easily carry 12 plus kilos of gear in my Osprey Kestrel 48 pack, but some of the ultralight or lightweight packs that I've tried, I really struggle with even seven kilos. It's more about how the pack fits you personally and how it distributes weight to make it easy to carry for you. Now it is a personal thing, so there'll be some people out there that are totally the opposite to me. And that's why it's important that if you can, you go and try a pack on before you buy it. And even better, load it up with some gear in the shop to make sure that it feels comfortable and it fits you properly. Another thing that can catch you out when you're looking for gear to get started is that sometimes second-hand gear can be more expensive than new gear. At the minute, second-hand prices have gone a little bit crazy and prices for new gear are going up as well, but look out for voucher codes and sales and special offers and stuff like that. There are still a few bargains out there to be had. And if you can, think about buying your winter gear in summer and your summer gear in winter. You can usually save a little bit more money that way as things go on offer when they're out of season. And along similar lines, I guess, if you've got some gear that you want to sell, think about when you're selling it. Sometimes just delaying things until the sun comes out or the weather gets bad, depending on what the gear is, you might get a lot more for it. The next one is a bit of a reality check really, and it's that no matter what you see on YouTube and on Instagram, you might not get an awesome sunset, you might not get a clear starry night, and you might not get a beautiful sunrise. You might get lucky, but don't count on it. But no matter what happens, it's all about getting outside, soaking it up and enjoying yourself. So what are you waiting for? Give the video a quick Tom Thumb tickle if you found it useful. And until next time, peas and carrots.